Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Akabane101 and this is a tutorial on how to patch Monster Hunter 2 to have English instead of Japanese. This will patch about 85% of the game and get all the necessary things translated so you can have some fun. First off, I'm just going to show you guys what Monster Hunter 2 looks like before we even patch it. So this is a clean file. You'll see I have another file down here that's already patched, but we're not going to use that one. This is a file of the Japanese version of the game, a .iso on the PCSX2. This is the version I'm using currently right now. It's kind of old, but I've never really needed to update it, so for the most part we're doing good. And all you have to do is just run it. I run it in fast. So I should reset, that's fine. I accidentally uh, ran the game before this video, so totally unprepared. Alright, so you'll notice a significant amount of Japanese. This will basically all be translated once we are done patching it. So if you see the Japanese now, that means it is unpatched. It is the original version, and we will need to patch this out so we can actually understand what's going on in our Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter? Let's go with Monster Hunter. Of course, there's some English words in here, but that's just because they're, uh, they are logos and all that good stuff. So anyway, that's, uh, that's about it for Monster Hunter there. So we'll just close this down. We'll even close down PCS, PCSX2 because I'm not sure if it'll translate automatically. Like if it will update the .iso file. But anyway, simple as that. All we have to do is go to these websites here, and this is courtesy of a guy named John Smith. He posted this video about a year ago, so I don't know if he even cares about YouTube anymore. But I'll give him the shout out anyway, because this is how I learned how to do this. So, in the description you'll find there's links here. This will be in the description of the video you're watching now. I won't be linking you to this video, but um, these are the links that you'll be getting. These are going to be linking you to an AdFly ad, which would be something that looks like that. You can skip the ad when it's done loading. And then I want you guys to download both the files. They should look like this and this. So ppfomatic.zip file. Keep in mind you will need WinRAR or 7-zip. Easy to find, both free programs to use. Download these files. And then when you're done with that, go put them into a folder. And when you put them into your folder, you're going to see them look kind of like this. They don't have to be in the same folder as the .iso, but I just did that for convenience. Makes my life a bit easier. And then you're going to have to go ahead, right click on these, and extract them to their own personal file. So they are unzipped. Do that for both of them. And when you are done, you will have two separate folders. You'll have the PPF Omatic. You can go ahead and open this by clicking the .exe. You'll see this nice little program here. We'll go back one and then go to the DOS 85% English patch. Double click on that. And you should have a mhdos alternative.ppf. The PDF files are not necessary. These just kind of explain what is being added to the game, what's being switched around, and all that good stuff. What you need to worry about now is you need to know where your .iso file is. So for me, this is my .iso file, the one we were running earlier. And we're going to be patching this one. So we want to put our ISO file in here. So we'll see this. Excuse the second monitor there. We'll see this. We'll go back a little bit to where it is. Right there. So this is our ISO file. You click open and then you'll see it there. It's on my F drive. It'll be on whatever drive you put it on, so wherever you downloaded this from, or maybe you uh, use the PS2 to .iso converter to get the, the game on your PC, however you got this, you need to have it in an ISO form, or else this is not going to work for you. Then you have to go to your patch, click on the save file looking button here, it's really a load button, but then you have to do the same thing for the English patch. So Monster Hunter DOS 85% English patch double click on the folder, double click on the PPF thing, and then you'll see some files here. Don't really need to worry about anything here. All you have to do now is simply click apply. And then it'll do its magic. It'll say patch successfully applied, burn images to CD now. Now, don't worry about this. It's not gonna start burning your CD. If you have a CD or like Diablo 2 in your PC, it's not gonna automatically start burning it. 
um, burning on some Monster Hunter patch. No, that's a silly. Um, just say, say OK. You now close out of this, and this file is now in fact patched. So let's go ahead back into PCSX2. Let's get this out of the way. And we need to just quickly check to make sure that Monster Hunter 2 is still there. It is. If it's not, go to Browse and double click on the .iso file that you patched. When you're done that, simply launch the game. I like to launch it under fast as opposed to slow because that's the silly. And we should be able to see, minus the shakiness, that's just the PCSX thing. You just press F5 until you get the uh, stable thing. And as you can see, it says MH Dose Alternative Barango because Barango's the guy that actually made the mod because that's awesome. He's an awesome dude and he went nuts and pretty much patched most of the game to be in English. So I really hope this helped you guys out. By the way, don't worry about that screen there. It has Japanese on it because it's just a PNG file or a JPEG or whatever they use for video games on PS2. So than that, um, I hope that really helped you guys out. If it did, leave a like. And if you want to see some Monster Hunter Dose from way back, I may do some new videos in the future, but I have some, uh, some old videos of the game on this channel so you can go check them out and see what they look like and have some fun. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.